Hey everybody, it's your time again here and welcome back to another video and uh, on today's video I want to talk about Final Fantasy 7 uh, topics obviously and specifically I want to talk about uh, Cloud Strife and Tifa Lockhart or specifically their ship you know Clody or uh, you know like Clody or Cloudy I think I heard I heard both ways so I have no idea how to pronounce them I, I'm just gonna pronounce them Clody all right <laughs> that's how I pronounced them since the beginning so yeah, um, so I think I'm just gonna share my own like uh, reasoning why I love Clody so much, you know, and why they are like special. Uh, I guess you could say couple in a way. I mean, they're not exactly canon yet. I guess you could argue that, but they are semi semi canon, right? I guess you could say that. And yeah, so I thought that well, I make this video because um, I think tomorrow is gonna be the release date for the the Trace of Two Past novel, or at least the official translation of the Trace of Two Past novel, you know, which I'm curious to see. If more people are going to cover that in, in you know, to cover Tifa and then Arid storyline again, you know, because back in the day we don't exactly have that English translation, you know. So yeah, I thought that I might as well upload this video now. So hopefully, maybe tomorrow some people can I don't know talk about it because yeah, that book is also one of the things that makes me love Clody even more. So I guess I'm gonna tell you guys the uh you know my experience with Clody first, you know, when I first heard about Final Fantasy VII remake, you know, and again. The thing is that I, I can't play the game despite I wanted to because again I don't have PlayStation, right? I don't have play, PlayStation 4 and then now PlayStation 5, like no, I don't have that. Uh, so I, I watched a uh, Let's Play of it, I watched like a, a Twitch streamer and stuff like that, right? And that's where my love for Final Fantasy, Final Fantasy 7 came, you know, because again the story and the character just like make me fall in love with them so much, you know, and then uh, Cloud and Tifa, you know, it specifically strike me as a, the main ship in my opinion, you know, because uh, when you play Final Fantasy VII, there is like a couple of girls that Cloud can choose, you know, you can actually pick uh, his path throughout the game, I think. Uh, you got obviously Tifa, you got Arid, the second one, and then you got, I think you got Yuffie even, and then uh, Barrett, you know. Um, Jesse, well, maybe not really, because Jesse is, you know. Um, and yeah, at first, when, when I first uh, finished, like, I guess watching the Let's Play for the game itself, you know, finishing uh, the the story and stuff like that, you know, I... You know, I like Cloud and Tifa the most, you know, um, and again, remember, this is only Remake Part 1, so I don't exactly know the entire story yet at the time, so I decided to look at, like, like a, a full, like, walkthrough for the the OG FF7, you know, just to see the entirety of the story, and obviously you get more of, like, Clody moments in the game and stuff like that in the, in the original 1997, you know, which we're gonna see that in, you know, Rebirth and then maybe the third game in 2027, um, and yeah, just just convinced me even more that this is like the the good ship at least, or like a great ship for uh, Cloud Strife, you know, because Cloud is like the one that people just like picking uh, his path, you know, because that's what the game clearly wants to you to do, right, or like something like that. But it's just like to me, that just seems like a, I don't know, just a fun mechanic and stuff like that. Like it's definitely fun to see Cloud has several moments with uh, Tifa, Aerith, you know, even Barrett or Yuffie, even right. Uh, we have no idea, but I don't exactly know about Yuffie yet you know because again we're gonna see that in Rebirth I'm assuming um but yeah to me this is like strike as just like a fun thing to do in the game and that's totally fine in my opinion I think that's a really fun element to add in the game you know like oh which girl is the best for Cloud you know like it's just like it's just fun you know you can just pick whatever whatever path you want you know but I would say this is not creating a big impact to his character you know and Again, it's just gonna like add to my point why I love Clody so much is because I feel like their ship or like Tifa at least specifically Tifa has a really uh, great connection with Cloud. You know, like li literally his entire life is shaped around Tifa. You know, in my opinion, because here's the thing: Cloud eventually, like Cloud wanted to become a soldier because he wanted to impress Tifa. You know, so like he has, she has like the biggest impact on his life, despite the fact that we know what happens to Cloud, right? Um. So like she kind of like like indirectly responsible for like what happens to Cloud's life, you know. Um, and I know at the end of the day it's Cloud's decision, but like again his decision was made because he wanted to impress Tifa, you know. And you could add add some other uh reason as well, you know. But it was crystal clear why he wanted to become a soldier is just to get Tifa's attention, you know. And he kind of like creating this big story arc for him, you know. Or, or at least like the the basic foundation for his character came because of this decision, you know, like, we all know that he went through the journey, he met Zack, he met Sephiroth, and then you know what happens at Nibelheim, right? And then eventually you get to the main game where Cloud becomes this way, you know? Like, it's all based on that one decision that he made, you know? If he doesn't 
wanted to become a soldier, he doesn't want to uh, impress Tifa or something like that, then I would argue that maybe T Cloud will end up in a different, uh, you know, the different like life, you could say that. Maybe he's still trying to get Tifa attention, but maybe in a different way. Like imagine if he's not a soldier, then maybe maybe Tifa will be dead at this point, or like maybe him Cloud himself will be dead, you know. So I think that's why that one, like it's a tiny decision, in my, maybe it's not a tiny decision, but it's like a pretty big decision for his character. And that's why, like I said before, they have the biggest connection, you know, since the beginning of their uh, life, basically, you know, like since the youngest day of their life, right? And it's just like add more to the emotional weight to it, you know, because again, throughout the game, Cloud is trying to find himself, you know, and the only one, the only person who, who knows that uh, his true self is Tifa, you know, but she's afraid to tell the truth because, well, she's afraid to lose him again, you know, and that's the reason why she doesn't tell the truth immediately. And I would argue that, you know, the reason why that, that, uh, that mind scene in in the original game work is because you know it was the right time you know where Cloud is looking for himself and then Tifa was there to piece together his memory you know and again she was the one who pieced together the uh, the real Cloud strife you know and that's why Cloud said yes Tifa we finally met again I think it's the original dialogue in the original game when you piece together Cloud's mind as Tifa you know um, and that line obviously meant a lot you know because I throughout the game like. You see, Klaus' true self came out when uh, he was with Tifa, you know, and I'm not bullshitting, bullshitting about all of this. It's because, again, the developer said it in the Ultimania, you know, where Klaus' true self came out when he was with Tifa, you know. When, we were, when he was with Aerith, he's trying to be cool, you know, and that, I think that's the reason why I think I don't really saw that much connection with Klaus and Aerith. And I know some people ship Claret and that's totally fine, but it's just like, it's just not for me, so... I'm on board with Cloud and Tifa's ship because again, there's many reasons that we have that Cloud's true self came out when he was with Tifa. Um, because Cloud is the kind of character who just want to be cool, at least in the first part of the game. Um, obviously, he has character development later on, you know. But again, the real Cloud's tribe doesn't even uh, like fully pop out when until you know Tifa pieced together Cloud's memory. That's where you see the real Cloud's tribe. You know, throughout the game. They kind of just like teasing it, you know, like, oh, Cloud is this mysterious, you know, unreliable narrator, basically, right? And that's why when he's trying to be cool with Tifa, it's not, it's not his true self. It's just like, well, he, it's like, it's like he's putting like a, a, a mask, you know, like trying to be cool and stuff like that in front of other people. But with Tifa, he is comfortable to just being true to himself, you know. And that really adds so much, you know, because obviously on, on life, you hear that many times that you're trying to be... You know, like, be yourself, you know, don't be afraid about that. And it's a good advice, you know, and that's why I think, like, to me, that's, like, a biggest, um, you know, like, connection with between the two characters, and that just enhance the story even more, you know. Um, and, yeah, and obviously, I guess I could mention some of the cute moments and stuff like that with the train scene, obviously, when they jump out together, was like, wow, that's cute, you know, but I feel like I don't want to mention that too much, you know, because, like, the game also has that with other characters. Like, Aerith also have that, has that uh, cute moments, right? Um... So I feel like that that would be unfair to me just to just say that oh like this cute moment throughout the game like you could point it out you know because it's fun but I feel like other character he al Cloud also has that elements with other characters you know particularly Aerith you know or maybe even Jesse if you really pay attention you know um so that's why I don't really want to mention that but the idea for him being true to himself you know um if I just like being the one who piecing together the memories and then the reason why Cloud want to become a soldier like. To me, that's like a biggest indication that, yeah, this is like a, a great ship for me at least. I know people will be disagreeing with me and that's totally fine because I know people have different opinions about this. And again, that's fine. I'm, a, I'm not like I'm not here to call you guys out for having like different opinions. You know, I'm just here to share my opinions why I think Chloe is the, the perfect ship for a cloud. You know, again, all this connection, all this uh, like narrative standpoint, in my opinion, like that's great, you know, narrative-wise, because, like, Final Fantasy VII is a narrative-driven uh, game. Uh, so, narrative-wise between, uh, with Cloud and Tifa, it's just, it's just great, in my opinion. Like, it has connection, it has some um, arcs since the beginning, you know, it has development steadily throughout the game, and then eventually, it has an epilogue, basically, you know. Like, it's still continuing even to this day, you could say that. Um, and that's why I feel like when people say some, you know, LTD argument, like, I'm just saying, I mean... I guess it's there, but I feel like some people just like hammering down too much on it. So I feel like, look, I get it why some people think that it's an LD, LTD, you know, but I don't think it's that deep, you know, because like the the dating elements of the game, that's what I'm going to call them anyway. It's just like, yeah, I mean, it's just there for fun. You know, that's what, that's what it is for me. Like, it's not exactly uh, like a deep decision that 
completely changed the fate of Klaus Schreff character, you know, because again, at the end of the day, like, again, he's doing this for Tifa, and then Tifa is the one who pieced together his member and stuff like that. Without Tifa, Klaus would not be able to find his true self, you know. That's what happens in the original game, and, and again, I don't think you can deny that, <laughs> because that's what liter literally happens, you know, and it's like, yeah, I feel like the LTD stuff is like, I guess it's there, but not that deep, you know, and it doesn't affect the game's, like, story or, like, the decision, you know, because this is not exactly a heavy, like, choice-based choice, uh, choice -based game, you know. Some choices is there to obviously determine the points for each character, and that's to me just, like, purely game mechanics that is, like, super fun to do, because you can get Cloud having, like, many moments with the other character that you wanted to, you know, and that's totally fine, you know, I'm cool with that. Um, I think it's really fun, honestly. Um, but I feel like it doesn't check. Uh, it doesn't really affect the bigger storyline for Cloud. You know, the same stuff still happen. Like the same bigger narrative, the bigger story arc for Cloud to thrive. It's still canon. It still happens. You know, and that's the most important thing. You know, and that's why I feel like people just like completely over. You know, reacting about the LTD stuff. Like it wasn't like it doesn't affect the the character that much in my opinion. Like and when it was affecting him, it's just basically like a dating scene or like a you know um. Like the scene from the first remake game, you know, like I, I forget what it's called, but it's like that scene right there is like the the example that yeah you can you can pick a scene with Tifa, you can be with Barrett, you can be with Aerith, you know, and that to me that's where the decision obviously led to, you know, it doesn't exactly lead to the end game if that makes sense, you know, because I feel like the end game for the Final Fantasy VII storyline is not going to be affected by the the LTD mechanics of the game, you know, and that's why I feel like some people are kind of overreacting about it, you know, like. It's okay to have, to see other people's opinions, and it's totally fine about that. Um, just as long as you, you are being respectful about it, you know. Um, and yeah, just like I don't know, I'm just kind of tired to see the the drama between the two ships, obviously Clody and Claret, right? I'm just like, ah, man, <laughs> you know, I have my own ship, you know. I just want to share it. I don't want to fight, you know. Please don't do that. Don't try. Don't even try to convince me that Claret is better, you know, because again, you're not gonna change my mind. Just that, just as I not going to be able to change your mind. And again, this whole video is not about like changing people's mind to liking Chloe. Like it's not that. I'm just like sharing my own opinions about it, you know. And you can disagree with it, you know, as long as you are being respectful about it, and that's totally fine. But you know, I'm just hoping that it doesn't create a big argument. But either way, I don't think anybody will <laughs> even bother watching this video. But I don't know. Just, just I don't know. Just preparing myself in, just in case that happens. You know, I hope I don't jinx myself. But yeah. And yeah, I guess that's the video, guys. Um, I know it's not very cohesive. <laughs> again, I'm really sorry because, again, I, I think there is a lot of better channel out there that can explain Cody that well, you know. But I'm just here to just, again, not really giving you guys an accurate information, but just sharing my own opinions, I guess, for the Final Fantasy VII fans, you know. If you guys are not familiar with this game, then you're probably going to be confusing on what I'm talking about, you know. But for the Final Fantasy VII fans, hopefully you guys can understand what I'm saying, you know, and... Uh, if you guys if you guys have different opinions, then I, I, at least be respectful. You know that's what I'm asking. You know, um, so it doesn't create like a drama or like another argument. You know? I'm I'm kind of done with all of that. It's like shipping argument is like the worst drama ever. You know, and it's just like super wasting my time or something like that, right? And many people's time as well. So hopefully there's nothing bad happen in the comment section. But I highly doubt anyone will, will comment anyway. <laughs> But then again, I have to prepare myself, you know, just in case something like this happens in the future, right? Because you never know. Uh, but I'm probably getting too confident, to be honest. <laughs> um, either way, guys, uh, that's the video again. Um, I, I I know that I'm I'm probably going to make another more Final Fantasy VII videos in the future when the, the Reaper trailer came out, obviously, giving my own uh, opinions about that, you know. But right now, um, I'm glad that I, I, I was able to make this video. Um, that being able to share my opinions that probably wasn't that clear for some people so i'm sorry but anyway yeah i guess um if you guys enjoyed then you know leave a like comment subscribe share the videos do usual stuff um you guys can become a member for this channel by, by clicking the join button below you know so you guys can uh support this channel even further you know um and yes yeah, stay tuned for more videos in the future guys and again uh thank you for still supporting my channel and again i really hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you guys in the next one then Bye.